I first got, noted, got to know Tom through a regular letter. I had written to Tom when I was applying to Stanford. And to my surprise, Tom replied with uh, a very nice letter and a copy of some of his papers, uh, including a paper on log optimal portfolios. That was when I realized that Tom was not an ordinary information theorist. I came to Stanford and took the course on information theory with him, and that confirmed my belief that information theory was the most elegant and surprising branch of mathematics, in, intersecting with so many different things. A couple of years later, when I was at TA, Tom asked me to write some lecture notes for the course. So I attended the class again. And one of the things I realized is that he never teaches the, the class the same way each time. He tries to make changes. And so even for me, attending the class the second time, it was fun. At the end of that quarter, Tom, out of the blue, suggested that we work on a book together. It was clearly the opportunity of a lifetime, and I jumped at the chance. And whenever I look back, it's definitely the best thing that has ever happened to me. Little did I, did I realize then that it would, it would take more than three years after that of hard work polishing the lecture notes to get it to the form that it could go to the publisher, and a year after that before it finally came out. But those three years were the most fun, the most wonderful, the most educative years of my life. Almost every day I spent many hours in Tom's office, sometimes working on the book, but as many people have said, Tom had this open door policy, so we would have a regular stream of visitors, students, visitors from other universities, et cetera, including some people with interesting ideas. Like, I remember a guy who wanted to disprove evolution using information theory. And Tom, of course, would entertain all these people with his unfeeling politeness. So it was not always clear how much progress we were making on the book, but Tom was a perfectionist. He would work each proof, each discussion, till it, he got it exactly right. Otherwise, it would not stay in the book. So ultimately, I, I had to graduate, and we had to finish the book, so it got done. Uh, if were not for that, we would have been probably working on it for many years afterwards. Uh, but we were both very surprised and gratified with the reception it received. I remember Tom talking to me years later, saying, when we wrote it, he, he would think of it as a, a monograph, since it had a lot of uh, a very quirky uh, selection of topics. But uh, again, I think the breadth of the topics enabled the book to attract people outside the traditional information theory. We, had, we get emails from people in physics and psychology and others who read the book. Uh, since the first edition came out, I would go back to Stanford regularly and visit. And uh, we worked on the second edition. It almost got done in 99, but then I started working at a startup. And uh, we finally go got back to working on it in 2005, and it came out in 2006. My uh, only regret is last year we had start, started talking about working on a third edition. And uh, while we, the discussions were very early, I got involved in yet on the startup, and we never got to work very much on it. And so when the news finally came of Tom's death, it came as a shock. But when I look back, and I look at all the emails that people have sent about the book, and when I look at people who I have explained information theoretic concepts to, and see that flash of recognition, what Bob, uh, Bob Gallagher said, you're coming up with a simple idea that changes a, a person's perception of the world. It's clear that the spirit of Tom speaks through us. And each of us carries that spirit with us, all of Tom's students and all the people who read his work and are able to explain it to, to, to others. And again, with Bob, I would, I would echo his comment. Look for simple ideas that change people's perceptions. Tom was able to do that uh, 
in amazing ways. Inflation theory is by itself a rich and elegant field, but Tom was able to find the elegant solutions to all of inflation theory's problems. Of course, we all miss him very much, but I think we will carry on the spirit through his ideas. <laughs>